So hi, Frank. Thanks for joining our program again. It's a great pleasure to um, invite T to show at the Chinese Film Club again. So um, yeah, this time we have some questions we'd like to consult you. Uh, as you mentioned in the introduction, for T, this uh, documentary, you are not only the director, but also the production design. Could you please share a little bit more about the story behind it? Yeah, the, the video design. Oh, the video design, sorry. Yes. yes. Uh, yes, that's so I, I had two heads um, and that was sometimes difficult to, uh, to jump uh, between documentary maker and video designer. Um, uh, but I, I find it very interesting uh, when I make a film to uh, be um, connected to the subject matter. Uh, that this is a line, this is a tendency in my work that I more and more appreciate uh, uh, so that I'm not only making a documentary about something but also be part of the subject itself. Um, this started actually with the helicopter string quartet of Karl-Heinz Stockhausen in which I advised him how to use the cameras in the helicopters and uh, the mise-en-scene of the musicians walking towards the uh, helicopters as if they were going on the, on the moon uh, flight. So uh, from then on, uh, I'm more and more uh, connected uh, to, the, to the subject of the film that I was making. And in, in this case, T Opera, uh, I did the video design, which is, uh, you know, part of the creative team that uh, created the opera. So was that the reason from beginning to why you joined this um, uh, opera and make the documentary out from it? Or the initial plan from you was to um, make the documentary about this opera? Or, or, or put it the other way, what's your relationship with the subject of the documentary itself? No, yeah, the idea from? I was, of course, very interested in the, in the Chai Ching, the old tea book on which the libretto is based. But um, um, I wanted to make a documentary about uh, uh, Tendan because I thought he was a very interesting uh, composer at that time. We're talking now uh, on, on the early part of the, this century. And um, I, um, I had a conversation with him. We had lunch. And uh, he kind of, uh, after, you know, like an hour, he, he, he wondered if I would be interested in the video design, which, of course, was for me exactly uh, the kind of connection that, uh, that I, I, in my wildest dreams, could not think of, but would, would have hoped that it might happen. So it happened. And uh, I, was, I was able to work uh, both as a designer and... and uh, documentaries. But mostly I was interested in the subject uh, tea in relation to the Chinese culture and to the Japanese culture for that matter because the original tea book of course comes from China and it's a very special book which describes uh, how you make tea what for example is the exact um, temperature in which you uh, enjoy tea the most. And uh, it's, I think, something like 97 degrees, 97.5 degrees or something. And uh, in the film, Xu Ying explains uh, that um, this temperature uh, is about balance. And so it's not only uh, uh, that it makes the flavor of the tea right, but it also symbolizes that uh, let's say if the water is too hot, it burns the leaves. When it's uh, too cold, it doesn't bring out the flavor of the tea. So it's all about balance. So the meaning behind this temperature is much deeper as it uh, appears in the book. Uh, um, it's about the balance we have uh, maybe, for example, uh, with how our planet is traveling around the sun with the, the, the um, I would say that uh, uh, the root be a little bit higher or a little bit lower, we wouldn't be able to exist. So balance in that matter is life. 
And I thought, uh, and then um, in the history of the tea book, um, it of course travels to Japan. And in Japan, they develop it even further in a Zen-like way. Um, they kind of, um, um, the ceremony is very specifically noted and it has a, a high spiritual meaning in, 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 in the Japanese culture. But originally it's, it's Chinese, uh, uh, you know, from the, from the old times. Yeah, tea is more like the mirroring of the soul, of the human soul that we can see through your film. And we're wondering how do you make the balance while you were making the documentary? The balance between the music and the film, uh, let's say between the ear and the eye. <clears throat> yeah, that was, um, somehow I feel this is a f my female film. Um, I, I, I feel it's very sensitive in moments. And uh, one of the uh, quotes in the libretto was to uh, hear with your eyes and see with your ears. And that combination of, um, uh, uh, I would say that the analogy between the ear and the eye uh, is something which is basic in my work. So um, I was trying to look at the method in which Tan Dan was composing the music and he kind of mixed between um, Western and, and Eastern uh, elements, which had their origin in two different cultures, so to speak. And so that was for him a balancing act uh, as well. And so that principle I took and transformed that into the balance in the film between the opera part and the documentary part. I kind of wanted to have uh, the story of the film be the story of the opera. So uh, that's the, the red line. And so the balancing for me was between the documentary part and the, and the opera part. Yeah, because through the film we can literally see the tea philosophy has been immersed not just on Tan Dun's opera itself, but also through the whole film. So while watching it, it's very enjoyable. And we are also wondering, have you met many difficulties or challenges while you are making the film? Was it very difficult for you to understand the philosophy at the beginning about the tea philosophy behind it? Or you had some pre-study of that already? No, yeah, my, my background uh, in, in that sense is, uh, uh, um, how you say that? Oh, not, not so much my background, but my, my interest in my life for Eastern philosophy is already uh, 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 from a long time ago. You know, when I was a, when I was a little, like what, a seven-year-old boy, my, my uncle um, uh, sent me a postcard from China because he was a, captain, a sea captain. So he sent me a, a postcard from Canton which is now uh, uh, has, of course, a different name. Um, but it had a huge stamp on it, something like this. So the, the card was like this, and the stamp was uh, almost as big. And I was so proud I showed it in the class to, my, to uh, you know, my, my friends, and that was like deep present. So, but since then, my interest in China is uh, uh, apparent. And of course, I worked with the American composer John Cage, and um, uh, he, is, uh, he bases his music on the I Ching. And uh, so there are many, many moments in my life uh, that I was confronted with Eastern philosophy and Chinese philosophy. So it, it, it came as a logical next step uh, to uh, research tea. Yes. And during the making progress, uh, what do you enjoy the most? Do you feel you learned something more through the whole process, aside from being the video product 
produ production for designer the video designer yeah so aside from being part of that um while making the documentary itself do you also feel that um role helps you in a different way later at the other filmmaking process a little bit yeah i mean uh, certainly uh, 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 in the sense that uh, i think that is the only time that i uh, could work in such a hierarchy uh, with a, uh, a conductor and a director uh, and a light designer and then you had the video de designer and it's not always easy as a video designer to uh, since you need uh, not so much light for my uh, video beamers you know um, to um, to to get the place that I wanted so uh, the competition within the creative group for that I mean uh, the, the video designer um, uh, has to fight much harder to get his images being clear than uh, than the the guy from the light because he just throws the light on it, but when he throws too much light on it, my images are disappearing. So, so that was quite a fight, I have to say. And um, I also decided this was the only the only time I would work in this way because, uh, as a film director, I my own boss and I'm. Uh, uh, you know, uh, not used to uh, live with the decision of others in that sense. Mm. You know, so th it was a very, I would say that interesting experience, and I learned a lot from the um, way uh, opera productions are working and how you fit in with the different disciplines. But uh, me, myself, uh, I, I think I said at one point, the next opera I work on, I direct myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the good idea, why not? Yeah, which, which, which happened also. <clears throat> that sounds good. Um, meanwhile, Frank, you also focus a lot on uh, music documentary. So do you have any new work coming up? Yeah, of course, um, um, the Corona time, um, uh, made uh, things very difficult. Uh, I directed one opera uh, with my mobile phone oh. during the corona time. It was very interesting and it worked. It really worked. And then um, I did the um, uh, streaming video of the opera of uh, uh, Sakamoto, Richie Sakamoto, uh, which is called Time. Um, then uh, I was working uh, with my uh, wife, uh, Chia Zhao, uh, who also producing, is producing films of me, but I wanted uh, very much her also to be a director, so I was very happy that she decided to do that. And that is a film about uh, the Red Chamber, um, the dream of the Red Chamber, famous Chinese um, um, epos uh, and um, I'm working on a film right now on a Syrian clarinetist called uh, Kinan Ajme and uh, he works with Yo-Yo Ma and he's a fantastic uh, virtuoso clarinet player uh, but also composer and uh, it's my film uh, uh, about the Middle East because I'm working on four films right now. Uh, one uh, is based in Iran. One uh, was based in China, the Inner Landscape, which you saw uh, last year. And um, uh, the third one is about the Middle East, and the last one will be about India. So I'm writing the script uh, also for my Indian project at the moment. Brilliant. With the title Timeless Bread. Timeless Bread. Okay. Sounds brilliant. So I hope in the future we can also have more chance to introduce the other film from you. Yes, I have a plan, of course, to work, <laughs> <laughs> to work together with with this beautiful actress <laughs> and make a film with her. Super. Thanks for joining us. Thank you and viel Spaß. Thank Cheers. You. Bye.